25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Cyrus Rex. Everyone is go. Standing by for launch. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of United Launch Alliance's Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Osiris Rex, its seven year mission to boldly go to the asteroid venue and back. from the equator. SRB chamber pressure is almost quite so at this point. Party 180, projector pressure's are good. 45 seconds of the flight. Supersonic. Standing by to pack, pass through Max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q, vehicle moderates continue to look good. This is the point when the mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak and because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Good. Current altitude is 14 miles. Downrange distance is 9 miles. Current velocity 2,488 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing down the middle of the range. In about 30 seconds, the good. single speed. solid rocket booster will be jettisoned at 2 minutes 19 seconds. Booster has throttled back down. It's now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next major event will be SRB jettison. Coming up momentarily. And, and you see the solid rocket booster jettison. Solid. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled closed loop Q Alpha steering. RD-180 engine continues powering the Atlas, Centaur, and OSIRIS-REx into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Four minutes and two seconds into flight. ...has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude, 40 miles. Downrange distance, 75 miles. Current velocity, 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Ast Atlas booster engine cutoff. Check the burn well, pump speeds, and check the pressures within band. Vehicle body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment momentarily. And we have begun throttling to maintain 5Gs. Signatures look good. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And begun to throttle to 4.6 Gs in preparation for Pico. Boost phase cooldown is complete. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. Booster engine cutoff confirmed. Standing by. After and spacecraft separation, separation for the Centaur single RL-10C engine to ignite. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Coming up on payload for engine Everything uh, continuing normally. 
the Centaur engine producing 22,900 pounds of thrust and it will burn for just over eight minutes. Centaur body rates look very good. The steering has been enabled. And the payload fairing, which was covering OSIRIS-REx, was jettisoned. Everything continuing on the timeline. Current altitude for Centaur is 101 miles. Range, downrange distance is 471 miles. Current velocity, 12,589 miles per hour. We do have a report from the booster performance, and it is basically nominal. We've had a very active campaign imaging Bennu as we're uh, approaching uh, the surface and it's given us an opportunity to really get a sneak peek at what we're about to embark on. So we're getting great images back. You can see the surface has got a lot of boulders, craters, a lot of diversity yeah. in, in the surface. So it's been really exciting. Stand by for the new arrival. So you can see here we have the Doctor Zitro so far the burn is occurring because I'm seeing a change in velocity from the spacecraft. It's going to be quiet a bit. Here it goes this way. We have arrived. <laughs> you may have noticed we were doing a bit of an unusual high five there. That's called the tag five because that's reminiscent of the tag SAM arm that's eventually going to retrieve a sample. And then once we arrive on December 3rd, we'll perform preliminary survey. And in preliminary survey, we fly over the North Pole, South Pole, and the middle of the asteroid. This helps us to map the gravity of the asteroid and understand how to operate near something.